1000 here today we're gonna be checking out these uh, mini trail cams I got a two-pack and we're gonna open them up see what all comes with them and we're gonna try them out and see how they work so stick around let's open this up Okay guys, I found these trail cams. We've been wanting to get some for a while. And a couple people had mentioned you, you guys should get a trail cam and put up when you go camping and whatnot. And I was like, well, that's funny you should mention that because we've been talking about it. So there's two trail cams in here. And this is what they are. Okay. Carter Bill user manual this is everything that comes with it um so let's go ahead and open this up um but like i said we've been wanting to get them set up around the tent and uh i used to do that quite a bit back in the day before i was filming a lot i had a trail cam it was just a cheap one it did okay but here's the user's manual And like I said, you get two of these. This, these were on Amazon. They're just cheap. Uh, I think they was like uh, eighty dollars, and I got a ten percent or ten dollar. I got a ten dollar uh, coupon with it, so they were like seventy nine dollars. Um, if I can remember, I'll put it up here on the screen. Um, we get two micro USBs. These are card readers. Of course, my, uh, uh, my computer, you know, has a card reader built into it. That's good to have. And we got a little thank you note from the company. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much for putting purchasing our mini trail camera tips to use trail cameras so gives you little tips here um so we're gonna try these out but in the next video what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set them out tonight because we do have some animals that come around at night and i know because the uh our our rear light out back in the backyard comes on uh when it detects movement so uh, it comes with two belts, and I did see one night a big uh, a big raccoon back there. He was pretty huge, so maybe we'll we'll see him out tonight. But like I said, uh, you can't tell by pictures. You know, you just got to get it and and find out. Um, it supports a 32 gig card for recording, uh, four AAA batteries. What is that? 60 I can't I can't see it's so small sensor and lens uh, trigger time 0 0.8 seconds 20 megapixels and 1080p okay so it's supposed to come with batteries now they're probably not rechargeables I don't know but if they are that'll be cool if not with the money I saved I ordered um, some more rechargeables um, for these these cameras um, it's supposed to come with the memory cord so let's open this up here and I'm not seeing the batteries it was supposed to come with the batteries okay it does have the memory card in here yep 32 gig I don't see any batteries um, yeah it was supposed to it said it came with them and I'm not seeing them well, I'll get a hold of them because, you know, I get tired of being ripped off. I know it sounds petty, but geez, if you put regular batteries in these things, they don't last long. They don't last long at all in any of them. In the bigger ones, you know, sometimes they take eight, eight batteries. Uh, see, there's the, uh, <clears throat> that's for a tripod or whatever. 
there's your USB which I don't see any cables it was supposed to come with them because I read up on it uh, let's see so you can purchase a uh, uh, 6 volt DC adapter AC adapter right here it plugs in there mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. I mean, I've got some batteries that I can take out of something else. But, <clears throat> you know, when they advertise it as coming with the batteries and the cables, well, they should come with the batteries and the cables. Yeah, it's, it said they were included in the, uh, adver or, you know, where I, I bought them, you know. And I'm not seeing any batteries whatsoever. So yeah, that kind of ticks me off. I'll have to go get my batteries. There's the memory card in this one too. Okay. All right. Of course they got protective covers on them. See, it doesn't say in here, it doesn't say on here about the batteries. I don't know what it says under here. I can't really see. There's something underneath this sticker. Four AA batteries. Ain't no batteries in there. Let me check this real quick. So here we go. Right there. It's supposed to have the batteries. SD card. Hmm. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, let me go let me go get some batteries so we can at least try these out. And then I may have to charge them to get these to work overnight but that'll be in tomorrow's video if we catch anything so supposedly you can time lapse and you know it's got time lapse function small and portable blah 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 lightning trigger speed <coughs> like I said 1080p so hmm. it says you know the mini trail camera has no screen so you need to set the parameters and view the pictures on a computer of course hmm okay let me get some batteries I mean, it's a good thing I ordered some uh, they won't be in until Tuesday or Wednesday but that's you know like I said I got some that we can check it out with tonight huh see this has been changed because right here you know I got everything that was here but when I bought this camera, it had a picture of four batteries. Bait and switch, I don't know. That's bull crap. Anyway, night vision range 65 feet. Like I said, 20 megapixel video resolution 2.7K. Um, this is not a, uh, it's not Bluetooth or Wi Fi, but. Uh, sensor range is 120 degrees, so you got 60 one way and 60 the other way, so. Alright, let me get some batteries. Okay, so, let's go ahead and let's pull this off. Jeez. Okay, let's, okay, I dropped it, where'd it go, there it is. Put that in there. And we'll pull that off. We'll put this in here. And it says to uh, open it up and put the batteries in. And that's what we're going to do. I've only got enough for one camera right now. So these are rechargeables. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Not, uh, not feeling real well. I think I got a cold coming or getting over. 
<coughs> so in order to set up the bat or set up the camera, I've got to install the battery and memory card into the camera and turn the switch to on. When the camera switch slide to on, <laughs> there will be a system config file file created automatically the camera light will flash twice turn off the camera then remove the memory card and put it into the card reader connect the card reader to the computer and then check the system config file in the memory card then you can open it by txt text and set camera by changing the number to one two or three which so I'll show you the options you get is okay you got time-lapse okay and you got picture you got still video okay so you can go this uh, value could be set one or two or three or four one for take pictures only two for recording videos three for capture pictures and recording videos together and four is time lapse time lapse shooting the default value is three so i can it can be five minutes it can be 30 minutes or it can be 60 minutes in the uh the time lapse so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now while you guys are watching. It says to turn it on, the cards in, we're gonna turn it on. And it was supposed to blink twice. Okay, there's one. It didn't say what color, it just said it would blink twice. I guess that's the two blinks, and then shut it off and take the card out. Okay, we shut it off. Now we're going to take the card out because if you don't shut it off, it says it could wipe out whatever's on the card. This is all the bigger card you can put in it is a 32. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Is that it? Well, this is. This thing sucks. already don't like this guys oh, hmm. all right so I guess it goes in like this and it's a real pain in the ass to get out okay so I'm gonna put it in the computer I'm gonna set it up and then we're gonna try them out well we're gonna try this one this one out okay guys so here's here's what will come up with USB drive F I'm gonna click on that this right here uh, the text documents go in this and this is how you set your camera up okay now I've already set it up but <clears throat> uh, I don't know why the time didn't start but anyway here's your date and time down here um, to uh, video video resolution. Um, I got it on um, ninety seconds. Okay, see, so recording time ninety seconds, right there, and then um, still shot. Okay, so like a movie movie size is uh, it defaults to one, which is ten eighty p. So this is how you go in here if you want to change something like this. I'm going to have to change this because I don't know why it didn't start. It's 559, so let's go to 59. Now that should be it. And okay, so we click this and save. And there you go. So that should be it. Now um, we're going to get off here. We're going to take it outside, I'm going to set it up, and let's walk past it and see if it works. If it does, then I'll set it up tonight, tonight, and um, we'll, we'll make sure that, or see if we catch anything outside. So, 
Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, we're outside. I'm just going to set it up here on top of the Corvette. And I'm going to give it a minute. I'm going to walk past. We'll see if it captures me. And I'll show you guys what... If it captures me. So, okay, I'm going to turn the switch on now. I'm going to close this up. This is waterproof. So, all right. I'm going to set it right over here. Right there. It's on the car. That's it. Then I'm going to walk. I'm going to go around the car. I'm going to walk past it. And see if it'll take my picture, which it should. And then it should give me a minute and a half, which is a 90 second video. So, let's hang on. First of all. Okay, see the lights came on there when I made it dark. So it may be, it might be uh, recording video right now. I don't know. So let me give it a minute and then I'm going to walk past. Okay, here I come. Might not be, okay, I heard it click, so it might have just took a picture, or it might be recording. I don't know. I'll have to uh, put it in my PC and find out, and then we'll put it up on the screen. Because uh, it's not clear dark yet, of course, so the lights ain't going to be on unless I make it dark. Somehow. So anyway... Um, yeah, let's see what's on this thing. And, what, I can't change the 16.9 aspect ratio. That's weird. But I can run it on 1080p, which still looks stupid. I'm going to stand over here a minute. And I'll come back and see if it picks me up. This is crazy. This thing sucks. It's probably going back. Are you working? Okay, guys, there you have it. That totally sucks. It is now 8.06 p.m. 8.07 p.m. I started messing with these, well, only one camera, by the way. I started messing with it about 4.30. Three and a half hours. Still, the time and uh, the, the date won't save... In the format that I want it to, I want the day, the month, and the year. I can't get it to change. It took me all this time to finally get it to save the right date. It kept going back to January 1st, 2020. Then somehow I got it to, and I kept setting, trying to set it for January 1st, or January 24th, 2022. But then it kept going to September 9th 2022 and here's something else I want to show you here the temperature forty seven degrees and I think in one of those pictures it came up as eighty nine degrees what the hell and you can't set the aspect ratio on it it's four point three there's nothing you can do about that and you can see a whole bunch of lines in this thing. These things are terrible. I'm going to go ahead and set it up out back tonight and see what happens. But 
it's it's not that somebody's walking up the street. I'm not hopeful on it. I mean, so far it's a two thumbs down when you can't you can't get and then the time when it comes up when I go to import my files onto my PC um, I finally got the time right within a minute but it is um, it's defaulting to AM so like it's 7.53 it's saying 7.53 AM you can't change AM and PM there's no way to change it. There's no option for it. And have to go into your memory card to set your camera, you know. And if I plug the camera in to my PC, it keeps picking it up and turn it off. Picking it up and turn it off. And something else. Every time I go to import my pictures or video or whatever, as soon as I plug my memory card in, it comes up as the drive is not something's wrong with the dot drive you got to repair it because if you don't then you'll get nothing and sometimes the uh, some of the video files will say um, corrupted even though it has a thumbnail of it it won't play that video um, on any player I've got I've got four or five players it won't play it on anything uh, so yeah like I said and then every time I want to import my files you know just to see if there was an if I caught an animal or whatever um, you know it says that you know this drive has a problem fix it now it only takes a few seconds I understand that but none of my other cards do that nothing else does that in that exact drive so you know I've used their their drive you know their card reader and plugged in it's the same thing no matter what I do so I, this thing's probably going to go back, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up tonight. And if I catch an animal or something out back, you know, I'll have a video for you tomorrow. But, you know, right now, no. But I'll let you know tomorrow, you know, what's how well it's going to work or whatever. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shaber the Myth Man Legend. Oh, by the way, to my haters, well, what do you expect? Well, for, you know... With tax and everything, $84, I expect it to do what it says it's going to do. It doesn't really do it. I mean, like I said, sometimes the, vi the files are corrupted. Brand new card, brand new camera. Oh, well. I'm well for now, guys. Uh, I'll, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.